right friends welcome back to banking awareness uh, lectures this is the 23rd module and for three modules that is module number 23 24 and 25 we are going to deliberate on indian financial market financial market in any part of the world is uh, almost similar but the nomenclature may be different if you look at india and other countries that's why i made it as indian financial market but broadly you can take a financial market in any part of the world almost on the similar lines and we are going to discuss this topic with a special reference to india that's why i kept it as indian financial market and friends what is meant by financial market please look into this slide financial market is one side you have people or organizations who have enough money to lend one side you have organizations or companies who have lot of money to lend and on the other side there are organizations who are ready to borrow that means the exchange of money between fund surplus groups and fund scarce groups that means one organization wants to lend other organization wants to borrow one person wants to lend one person is willing to borrow like that the market that is the exchange of money between fund surplus groups and fund scarce groups is known as the financial market that means the exchange of money whatever the time i am not going into the time aspect now so whatever the time the exchange of money between the persons or organizations who have enough money to lend and the persons or organizations who are ready to borrow so the exchange of money is nothing but uh, this uh, financial market right friends so in this there are two distinct categories in our country one is the money market the other one is the capital market i have already told you it is nothing but exchange of money between two groups when people are exchanging money for less than one year it is generally termed as a money market if i am borrowing money for a period less than one year that is money market and capital market is long term money if i am borrowing money for 10 years or 15 years that is more than one year it comes under capital market so money market is basically exchange of money between fund surplus groups and fund scarce groups for a period of less than one year and the capital market is exchange of money between these two groups for a period of more than one year so this is the basic classification between money market and capital market and there are distinct names with regard to the time period and before going in detail into it i would like to give you few explanations with the day to day life take this case assume that on 29th of a month a government employee needs some money he will get salaries on 30th government employees are normally paid the salaries on the last day of the month let us assume the month has 30 days and on the 30th day he will get salaries but on the 29th day the employee requires some thousand rupees so for one day he will borrow money from his friend this is one classic example of call money so if somebody is borrowing for few days that is categorized as call money broader terms i am telling who is borrowing and from whom he is borrowing i am not going into those details only i have taken this illustration to explain you what is the meaning of call money if somebody is borrowing money for few days that is the call money right look at this example a farmer he wants some fertilizers he wants some seeds for that purpose he will borrow money for few months farmer he has done cultivation of his paddy crop or wheat crop he is in need of some fertilizers so for that purpose he will borrow money for few months this is one example of money market normally if a farmer borrows for purchasing fertilizers he will pay back within 3 months or 4 months after he gets the harvesting so that is the borrowing money for few months is money market and please don't forget call money is also part of money market and look at this last example if you are constructing house then what will you do you will borrow money on longer duration 
you will borrow money from a financial institution for repayment terms with a long duration of 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. So, you are borrowing money for longer duration. This is nothing but capital market. So, we have discussed in detail what is uh, this call money, what is the money market, what is capital market and please don't forget call money is also a part of money market. And if you are borrowing for few days, that is call money. And if you are borrowing for few months, people normally call it as money market instrument. And if you are borrowing for longer time period, that is capital market. Right? So, if you look at the organized money market in this country, as I have already told you, this financial market is between cash surplus and cash scarce groups. There are several money market instruments. These are uh, treasury bills, uh, cash management bills like that. We are going to discuss in this lecture one by one. So, this is money market. Broadly, please understand that when a group is borrowing money for shorter duration, less than one year, that is the money market. And uh, look at the capital market. Capital market is, I have already told you, that is borrowing money for longer duration and there are several categories. Some organizations will facilitate money, some organizations will act as intermediaries, some organizations will give development finance and some organizations will be in the process of collecting money for the companies like that. It is bifurcated into this and first and the foremost of this capital market is government dated securities market. Government dated securities market, please don't forget that is basically government bonds. Central government issues bonds and RBI will act as intermediary and RBI is the regulator. So, that is part of capital market, but normally this is called government securities market. And second one is industrial securities market. Issue of shares, issue of debentures, that is industrial securities market. If Reliance Industries want money, they can sell shares. They can take a loan from market by issue of debentures. NTPC can issue bonds by for collecting money from market. And you can purchase NTPC shares, BHEL shares. So, this is all industrial securities market. Here, you can purchase shares or debentures and the regulator, please don't forget, is the SEBI. Third thing is the development financial institutions. We are going to discuss in detail in the subsequent lectures, but please look at the bifurcation. Development financial institutions are several types, those who are arranging direct finance and second is those who are in the process of developing certain type of institutions. Suppose if you look at SIDB. SIDB is for developing MSMEs. If you look at NABAD, it is for developing agriculture and rural development. If you look at REC, Rural Electrification Corporation, that is for the development of rural electrification. If you look at IIFCL, that is for the development of uh, infrastructure sector in the country. Like that, there are several development financial institutions are also there. This is classified as development financial institutions. And the last one is financial intermediaries. Who will facilitate these financial transactions? These are financial intermediaries. Here, investment banks, merchant banks, mutual funds, leasing companies, venture capital, like that there are several bifurcations. So, broadly, if you want to understand, please don't forget, exchange of money for less than one year is money market and exchange of money or the money intermediaries or for the development of sectoral financial institutions, the organizations behind them comes under capital market. So, this capital market we are going to discuss in the second lecture and we are going to discuss now Indian money market. Right? So, money market is, it is the money traded between individuals or groups, normally financial institutions, banks, participate in this money market process. These are the instruments up to period of 364 days, but there are few exceptions to this. And these are the instruments which facilitate quick conversion of money. So, money market instruments, you can convert them into money without 
much loss of value but capital market instruments please don't forget you cannot convert them into money value at any time you want that is the major difference and second important thing is this organized money market evolved in this country subsequent to 1980s one after the other was evolved and accordingly this is relatively a new phenomena in the indian financial system so for the growth of any economy please don't forget growth of any economy money market and capital market are very much essential and both should coexist if you look at your personal life you should have a friend who can give you money for one day or two days who can give you money for 6 months or 7 months and at the same time you should have a friend who can give you money for 4 years or 5 years duration what i mean to convey is in our personal life we come across several situations where we borrow money for one day or two days and at the same time we borrow money for 5 months or 6 months and at the same time we borrow money for a duration of around 5 years or 10 years and in the similar way in the financial system of any country there should be organizations who are ready to give money for one day or two days for few months for years together that's why the evolution of this money market as well as capital market came into existence right so this money market participants are basically financial institutions and banks and various types of indian money market instruments i would like to explain in this lecture one is the treasury bills cash management bills repo and reverse repos certificate of deposit commercial paper commercial bill and the last one is the call money market most important one right friends let us start with this call money market what is call money call money is basically when somebody is um, borrowing for few days and if bank is borrowing for one day it is call money if bank is borrowing for two days to 14 days it is a notice money for one day it is call money and for two days to 14 days it is notice money and broadly this is categorized as a call money market and it is the short term financial market and here transaction takes place on overnight basis and why this call money is required and by evening if you take bank like state bank of india or bank of baroda nobody knows how much money will be withdrawn today and how much money will be deposited today no one can say how much money will be withdrawn somebody may come in the evening at 3 hours 50 minutes and will request the bank authorities for withdrawal of 100 crores somebody at the evening time 355 hours may deposit 100 crores that means nobody knows what is the cash required by the banks by the evening and what is the surplus cash available with them so if they require money they will borrow if they are in excess of money they will lend like that banks will participate in the call money market so all the scheduled commercial banks the exception is regional rural banks they are not allowed to participate all the scheduled cooperative banks but the exception is land development banks they are not allowed to participate and the primary dealers who are these primary dealers primary dealers are the institutions who basically transact in government securities and money market instruments primary dealers are the organizations who will transact in this money market instruments as well as this government securities so these are allowed to participate in the call money operations call money operations are basically borrowing for one day or two days or three days and if bank is in need of money there is a mechanism given by the reserve bank of india that is a repo under repo rate under repo interest rate banks can borrow from reserve bank of india at certain percentage of interest and if that is exhausted there is some limit if that is exhausted they can borrow from reserve bank of india under marginal standing facility rate which is 1% higher than repo rate if that is also exhausted what banks will do 
banks will borrow from the adjacent bank that is called money depending on the requirement depending on the surplus in the banking system or in the financial system the call money rates will vary sometimes call money rates may be 7% or 8% sometimes they may shoot up to 14% or 15% depending on the requirement so call money is basically borrowing money for one day or two days or three days like that if they are borrowing for one day it is call money if they are borrowing for 2 to 14 days it is notice money and as i have already told you scheduled commercial banks cooperative banks and primary dealers are allowed to participate in this auctions of call money interest rates depend on the demand and supply gap and so as to prevent the exploitation in the call money market there is a mechanism developed by reserve bank of india that is the repo rate as well as marginal standing facility rate we have already discussed in the previous lectures so call money is the important aspect of money market so call money it is given separate name because it includes transactions for few days right look at uh, other money market instruments treasury bills treasury bills are the money market instruments issued by the central government and rbi will issue these treasury bills on behalf of central government rbi will issue these treasury bills they are issued in three time schedules at present 91 days 182 days 364 days these are issued by reserve bank of india on behalf of central government and basically banks will subscribe to these treasury bills why banks will subscribe to these treasury bills because banks have to keep 21 and half percent under statutory liquidity ratio under slr norms banks are required to keep 21 and half percent money aside either in cash form or in gold form or in government securities so as to fulfill that what the banks will do is banks will subscribe to this uh, treasury bills treasury bills are released by reserve bank of india on behalf of central government the duration you can broadly understand 3 months 6 months and one day less than one year because their tenure cannot extend beyond one year right so this is uh, treasury bills here one point i would like to tell you is uh, remaining things i have given here they are uh, discounted instruments what is the meaning of discounted instrument the meaning of discounted instrument is uh, at the purchase time itself uh, the interest will be discounted if you are purchasing 1 lakh value treasury bill you have to pay around 97000 or 98000 for purchasing that 1 lakh rupee value treasury bill and after the period you will get 1 lakh rupees and most of these money market instruments are discounted instruments so let me tell you once again discounted instrument means if the value of the treasury bill is 1 lakh you will purchase it at around 97000 or 98000 that means lesser than the face value and at the time of redemption you will get 1 lakh right so that is the meaning of discounted instrument look at the next one cash management bills these are also similar to treasury bills and for short duration their time period cannot exceed 90 days maximum time period is 90 days most of the features are similar to treasury bills the reserve bank of india brought this form of instruments in the year 2010 so as to facilitate the short term liquidity for short term liquidity this instrument was brought by reserve bank of india in the year 2010 and this is for a maximum period of 90 days if it is 91 days or more that comes under treasury bills and this treasury bills cash management bills and dated government securities which we are going to discuss in the 24th lecture please don't forget treasury bills cash management bills technically they are money market instruments and dated government securities that is long term duration government securities are part of capital market but 
technically speaking these uh, three put together are called government securities technically speaking this uh, treasury bills cash management bills and dated government securities which we are going to discuss in 24th lecture these are technically called government securities and these are uh, managed by reserve bank of india right so government securities market if someone says that include treasury bills and cash management bills for short duration and dated government securities for maximum duration of 40 years right friends look at the next one repo and reverse repos we have discussed in detail in the previous lectures repo is the mechanism where banks will borrow from reserve bank of india at certain rate as fixed by the reserve bank of india as per its monetary policy and as per the interest rate or at the interest rate specified by reserve bank of india banks will borrow from reserve bank of india up to the limit specified why this repo was introduced repo was introduced to prevent exploitation in the call money market as we have already discussed call money market is between bank to bank that means there is every possibility of exploitation so as to prevent that reserve bank of india brought this repo followed by marginal standing facility that means up to certain extent banks can borrow from reserve bank of india at the agreed rates or the specified rates as per the monetary policy so this is the repo and reverse repo reverse repo all of you are well aware if today state bank of india has got excess liquidity excess cash they can park this money with the reserve bank of india that is the reverse repo for that also they will pay certain interest so nothing is free in the call money market everything is with interest if you are borrowing for one day or 364 days it doesn't matter everything hinges on interest right friends look at the next one this is uh, commercial paper what is the meaning of commercial paper this was introduced in 1990 if you look at reliance industries if you look at tata motors if you look at lnt if they are in need of money for short duration if they are in need of money for 6 months if they are in need of money for 8 months they can issue commercial paper that means it is nothing but a promissory note if you are in need of money what you will do you will simply write a promissory note and borrow from your friend companies if they want to borrow from their friends what they will do is they will write promissory note and borrow from the market that is a commercial paper because they may not go to banks if they are in need of money for day to day mismatches for 3 months 4 months if reliance industries want 5000 crores of rupees probably they may not go to bank they may get money from outside at lesser interest rate reputed companies can only give this commercial paper not all the companies the company should have minimum credit rating of a2 or aa they only can give this commercial paper please don't forget this commercial paper is nothing but a promissory note type of thing where the companies big companies borrow from market by writing promissory note the duration should not exceed 1 year right friends i think it is very clear when someone says commercial paper don't frighten it is simply writing a promissory note by reliance ambani and borrowing money from public that may run into crores of rupees if you and i borrow we may borrow around 5000 or 10000 but if lnt or tata borrowing money for short duration they may find it economically viable to go to the market instead of going to the banks if they are in need of money for 10 years or 15 years definitely they will go to bank or financial institutions but if they are in need of money for few months they will definitely borrow from market by writing promissory note that is commercial paper right friends certificate of deposit what is certificate of deposit certificate of deposit is issued by banks and financial institutions for borrowing money from market as i have already told you if banks are in need of money for one day two days three days that is call money they will borrow from rbi they will borrow from adjacent bank but if they are in need of money for six months there is a lot of demand for credit people are asking more loans but deposits are less 
under those circumstances banks sometimes may borrow from market by issuing certificate of deposit so certificate of deposit is nothing but borrowing by banks or financial institutions from market by issuing certificate of deposit that is for short duration if banks are issuing minimum period is 7 days and maximum period is 1 year if some financial institution is issuing minimum period is 1 year and maximum period is 3 years please don't forget right so the last but not the least is the commercial bill discounting commercial bills look at this illustration carefully all of you are well aware about the firecrackers business in shivakasi in tamil nadu most of the firecrackers in our country are manufactured in shivakasi let us assume a situation that the firm in shivakasi sold firecrackers to a firm in delhi normally they are sold across the country so shivakasi firm sold firecrackers to delhi firm and it may take some time to get money and in the meanwhile what this shivakasi firm will do is by showing that invoice what is invoice invoice is raised after sending goods from one place to other place which indicates what are various goods sold what is its value that shows invoice and against invoice or you can say against bill they can get advance money from bank not all the money if the value is 1 crore they may get advance of 50 lakhs or 60 lakhs so that is called bill discounting by producing commercial bills getting some advance money is the bill discounting this is with a view to ease the financial position of the firecracker firm at shivakasi so the basic point i would like to convey is commercial bills are basically by producing the bills they will get advance money from banks so this is also money market instrument because the advance money they will pay back within one month or 15 days so this is also a case of uh, this money market uh, right friends we have discussed in detail about the money market instruments and before concluding i would like to tell you two things one is uh, what is meant by primary dealer primary dealer basically deals with the purchase and the sale of government securities and at the same time money market instruments what we have discussed primary dealers or the organizations which are vested with the purchase and sale of government securities as well as money market instruments whatever we have discussed one such firm is there for example i have given sbi dfhi limited is there this is the firm which looks at the needs of various purchase and sale of government securities and money market instruments for state bank of india and other banks so for that only i have given the example of sbi dfhi and if someone says primary dealers please don't get confused primary dealers are the organizations which to deal with government dated securities and other government securities as well as money market instruments and please don't forget other organization that is the clearing corporation of india limited this clearing corporation of india limited is established by commercial banks financial institutions and primary dealers jointly basic aim of this clearing corporation of india limited is to give clearing and settlements of various money market instruments basically this will clear and settle various money market instruments let us assume a bank has borrowed some money from other bank in the call money market let us assume that a bank purchased money market instruments a bank purchased government securities and clearing and settlement of all these things is looked after by clearing corporation of india limited right friends before concluding please have a snapshot i have given here various uh, features of a money market instruments and with this let us conclude money market please don't get frightened money market is borrowing for money or lending money the organizations are called money market and the instruments are called money market instruments and that is for one day to 364 days if you are borrowing or lending money you are into money market if the duration is the one day to 364 days and as i have already told you you require a friend who can give money for one day who can give money for three months who can also give money for five years six years if you are in need of money likewise in the financial system having coexistence of call money not only that 
other money market instruments not only that capital market instruments this is very much essential for healthy growth of any financial system friends let us wind up please do join for 24th module right